The draw to Hood Canal on this summer day goes far beyond the beauty of the beach. Gripping out here and just digging, and it's just that instant gratification when you find something. <laughs> For Cristino and Jenna Copeland, digging for oysters is a new adventure, but it can also be harmful if not done right. Got a good one? Yeah, it's beautiful. Following best practices when harvesting shellfish can prevent an intestinal disease called vibriosis. Vibrio, is a, it's a naturally occurring bacteria. You can't see it. Um, it's in the water all the time. It thrives during summer months when the tide recedes and the hot sun heats up the beach. The CDC says Vibrio causes an estimated 80,000 illnesses and 100 deaths every year nationwide. Most cases here in Washington happen after eating raw or undercooked shellfish. It's very similar to like the stomach flu. It's the vomiting, diarrhea, body ache for about two to three days. That is a good one. For prevention and safety, the Washington State Department of Health yeah, has a team monitoring more than 20 beaches statewide, gathering samples all summer long to test for Vibrio. So that's like, that's a perfect, perfect oyster for what we're trying to sample for. The illness can be prevented with some simple steps. Check DOH's shellfish safety map for closures or advisories. Harvest quickly with the receding tide and don't remove shellfish that has been exposed to the sun for more than an hour. Keep shellfish cold immediately after harvesting. And finally, always cook your shellfish. Lock on an opening. Important steps that Christine and Jenna will now take to the beach for their next harvest. We're trying to plan out our next day, like when can we come again? How soon can we get here?